Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambulite Rejection Technology Game Times 2. Got quite a lot of emails from people asking where did I get those curtains from for the movie theater setup. I'm going to show you where and put a link at the bottom where you can get the uh, curtains for around 50, 40 to 50 dollars. I paid 50 dollars for mine because I want the ones that are actually 96 in length. Mine are pretty long, so I need something that was going to hit nearly the top of the ceiling and drape nicely on the floor. So. These are the curtains right here. This is my third set from Amazon. That's where I got them from. And like I said, shipping, Amazon, it's fantastic if you have Amazon Prime because you get a little faster, but yeah, they do come available with Amazon Prime. So here's another set I have over here. Keep in mind, because I bought three of them. I bought one for one side, one for the other side of the curtain, then I cut and trimmed the other one for the top, and I'll show you what I have right here. Now, one of the things I like about the, my movie screen, it looks exactly like my paint label. It does that for my chairs on red, but I do like the way these labels look. These are actually shipping out tomorrow. Uh, these came in yesterday. These are quartz. And yes, people are still loving the Illuminous uh, Cinema Paint. We got a, um, a customer and a beta tester by the name of uh, Madness. He does a lot of videos using uh, the Illuminous Ambulite Cinema Paint that was claimed not to be Ambulite Rejection and not work with the lights on. Oh, well, he has it, and you can check out the video at the bottom of the comment section, and you can see another person using our screen paint with lights on. All right, so let's come over here real quick and show you the screen that's finally done. Look at this, absolutely beautiful. One of the things I love about this environment, my wife loves too, there's not a lot of clutter. I lived in a small little rented room, and if you go back to my earlier videos, that was really cluttered. And I'm a bit of a neat freak, it drove me crazy to be there, but like I said, everybody's got to start at the bottom, then move a little higher to the top. And I was blessed with the Lord's blessings to be able to be here. And that's why you always see my area nice and clean, never any clutter laying around because clutter drives me crazy, it does. And I took a little bit of that velvet, yes, and covered over the table with the PS4 on it. And I have the chairs here. I thought about getting these chairs in red, but I think I would have been going too far. So I just kept it at black to match the screen. I thought that would be a nice kick. All right, or a nice touch. All right, so as you can see, I have my border done. Sorry about the squeaky floors. But as you can see, I got my border done all the way across. I put a nice trim all the way across. I actually cut it very thin along the edge, folded it, and stapled it nicely across right there. And there's my jet black screen. That right there is the Illuminous Amulite Rejection Eclipse Cinema Paint. And we're gonna go over here. Here's my projector. I'm using the ViewSonic. Now I'll put the model number at the bottom and keep in mind I'm still doing some management over here, but also too, I'm still working on a few things with the projector. My projector sits back around 14 feet and eight inches from the screen. This is a 4,000 lumen. Uh, it's a WUXGA. I'm surprised I remember that uh, projector. Now keep in mind I've had some, and I, when I did the demonstration, showing our screens with lights sitting a foot away from the screen. I knew someone was going to come back and say something else now about the projector. Well, he's using 4,000 lumens. Keep in mind, I've done demonstrations that some people wouldn't even dare to go near. 50 lumen projector outside at 7 feet from a screen. I've done demonstrations like that. So I've proved time and time again that my technology works. No matter what projector I've used, I've used ultra short throw, short throw, Pico projectors, laser projectors, DOP projectors, LCD projectors, you name it. You look at the bottom of the comment section, I have links a mile long. You go on my archives, you'll see I've tested my screens on just about every projector you can think of. As a matter of fact, I got a projector coming in Wednesday, a Mitsubishi 720p WXGA uh, projector. I don't think it's WXGA, it might be, maybe not, I think it's XGA. A uh, projector coming in at 2700 lumens, and I'll do the same demonstration again on the screen and get the same results. All right, so here we go, projector here, screen here. I love this black screen. We'll take our projector out of blank mode real quick. All right, now keep in mind, when you look at my demonstrations, you'll notice that all the lights are on in the environment. I can use my screen in a fully lit environment. I do not have to darken the screen uh, just to make the picture quality look good. And uh, let me see, show you where my dimmers are at. They're all the way up, because I'm sure you're not hiding anything in this video. And I want you to look around, you can see that there's no dark areas. Everything is nice and bright as it should be. All right, so let's begin. Now you see I have condensed lighting. 
That's one of the things I tell people. The difference between my demonstrations is my environment. I literally have condensed lighting at all times connected to the screen. Now when I did that demonstration with the lamps sitting a foot, less than a foot away from the screen, two of them at that, with a window open and the door open in a fully, more than fully lit environment, this right here is a cakewalk for the technology. This is easy. Where most screens will struggle in this kind of environment, our screens is every day. It's an everyday thing. And that's why I said, very important, if you're watching a demonstration, and majority of that video is in the dark, or the high points of that screen are in the dark, then that's where you're gonna be at, sitting in the dark with that screen. And keep in mind, my projector's not even 4K. Had a 4K projector, got rid of it because I didn't need it anymore. That's how confident I have in my technology. I don't need a 4K projector to make my screen look good. And when you're watching the screen and someone's zooming in on the screen and they're showing you the detail and everything, that's not the paint. That's the 4K projector doing that. Now I'll move back into my dining room. And you'll see that screen react anywhere I move in the environment, that screen's gonna react. And keep in mind, the same amount of light you see hitting the fireplace, it's hitting the screen. Now when I was using the 4K projector, the ViewSonic PX747, that was at 3,500 lumens. Keep in mind, at 3,500 lumens, it was able to travel 14 feet and eight inches, hit that screen in a fully lit environment with the windows open and still perform with no problem. When I had a Casio 720p projector WXGA and eco mode at around 11 feet back from the screen, still able to hit the screen fully lit environment and still produce a beautiful picture. And I'll put that demonstration right at the bottom for you to see for yourself. Now the reason why I have a 4,000 lumens because I get people saying, well, if your screens can produce images on just 50 lumens, is it gonna hotspot like crazy if you're using 4,000 lumens? Nope. Mind, all this is being done with the lights on and I said this so many times take the time before you buy our screen paint look around do your research do your homework and see how many people are doing demonstrations on this level
No tan around the edges. Look at that. I'm going to say constant condensed lighting hitting the screen at all times. And you'll see any tan around the edges. When you see tan around a screen, when the color looks tannish, that means the screen is washed out. So we give you the peace of mind that you don't have to have an expensive projector. We've done demonstrations on low entry level projectors. My projector is not calibrated in any way whatsoever. Still set in the factory default settings on the first day I got it. Our screens are easy to paint. Now this is a roll on application. Now a lot of the demonstrations I see are these poorly lit, dark, ambient lit environments or dark environments. In order to make the screen look good. Now I can take my lights out. That's easy. This is a cakewalk. Can you imagine that every time you want to watch a TV show, watch sports or whatever, that you have to be in this kind of environment? That's the difference between us and them. Right again, take the lights out. Now, every time if I had to turn the lights out just to get the screen to look this good, now say this is how you want the screen to look. You want it to look this good, right? You gotta go you gotta take all the lights out, it has to be dark in the environment. There's no way where my wife is gonna sit there and try to read a book in this kind of environment. It's too dark. And this is the reason why I don't have a TV where my screen is at. Because I can tell my wife, look, we can have a 146 inch screen right here in the middle of the living room and you don't have to be in the dark because I have a projector. And these are fantastic screens. You're gonna be using these for churches, you're gonna be using this for auditoriums, you're gonna be using this for events where there's gonna be a lot of commercial light. This is where this technology is at its best. Alright, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Game Times 2. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration and God bless. I'm going to let this play a little bit longer and then I'm going to go from here. I'm going to pop some popcorn and watch the Smurfs on Netflix.